In this short tutorial, I'll show you an example on how to calculate combinations with the fundamental counting principle. What you'll need to be successful here is knowledge of the formula for combinations, and that's shown right here. In addition, you'll need to understand what the fundamental counting principle is, and that states that the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways in which each thing can occur. And with that being said, the question reads, in December 2011, the U.S. Senate consisted of 51 Democrats, 47 Republicans, and two Independents. How many committees can be formed if each committee can have three Democrats and two Republicans? From reading that, the order in which the numbers are selected does not matter. So this is a problem of combinations. Therefore, using the formula that we have here, there are 51 Democrats and we want to pick three from those. So we'll write down 51 choose 3. And we'll set up our formula. We have 51 as n, 51 factorial, over 51 minus the amount that we select, which is 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Now you can use the function on your calculator to figure this out or you can input this manually but for convenience sake I'll just use the function that is already in my calculator. I'll type in 51 shift this button and 3. This gives us 20,825 ways to select three candidates from the Democratic Party. So 20,800 and 25. Now from the Republican Party. This time we're selecting 2 from 47. So we'll write down 47, choose 2. And you can show your work, except I'll just go ahead and use my calculator for this. 47, choose 2. We end up with 1,081 ways. Now that we found these two critical numbers, we use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of committees that can be formed. So technically, what I'll do is multiply this number with this number, because according to the fundamental counting principle, the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways in which each thing can occur. So I'll take 20,825 times 1081. Let's use our calculator one last time. 2825 times 1081 and we end up with 22,511,825. And there you have it. That is how to calculate combinations along with the fundamental counting principle.